Hello and welcome. I am Raghav, and welcome to this episode of Ask Raghav. Today, I am going to take up a question asked by Vina, and she says, "Can you explain in a video how to conduct an interview with an organization when I have a project that requires me to interview an employee of an organization?" Uh, Vina, thank you for asking this question. And the topic basically is how to conduct an interview, how to conduct a successful interview, and how to get the right candidates. from the interview process so here i have divided the phase in three parts the first phase is before the interview what preparation what you should do before the interview then during the interview what all you should do during the interview and then finally what you should do after the interview and here i will share some of my personal tips that will help you a lot in selecting the right candidates now the people who who have to give an interview they can also watch this video because you will understand how the interview process is conducted what an interviewer prepares for the interview so starting with before the interview so you have to shortlist the right candidates and to do this you have to study their resume very carefully and if you do this part correctly you can save a lot of time a lot of resources a lot of energy later on so that you do not get any candidates who are not the right fit and you do not invest a lot of time and you do not waste your time and energy with the candidates who are not fit for the job so understand uh, take the resume of the candidates study the resume and map the requirements map the experience with the requirements of the job this is very important that once you have shortlisted few of the candidates you have to map the experience of those candidates the skill set with what exactly is required for the job with what exactly is required for the role now here you can also take help from your other teammates your other uh, project uh, mates or people or managers so that if you are have any confusion you can uh, let them know and you will know that what exactly is required for that particular job role or project and then when you are going through the resume you can highlight the parts whether you are using a physical resume a paper resume or you have a soft copy both the ways you can highlight the parts which are very important and it will also help you a lot during the interview process you will have these parts highlighted and you will know what questions to ask what areas to focus on and you can be very very uh, clear and focused during the interview so do this very carefully then during the interview process you can start light you can have the introduction so that the candidate is comfortable with you uh, keep your questions very clear and to the point it happens a lot of times that our questions are not clear and then the candidate sometimes starts answering and then takes the discussion to a different direction so keep your questions very clear if required rephrase your question if the candidate asks for details you can provide more details and this is all positive then you should always allow time to the candidate to think and then respond if you have asked a question and the candidate takes some time a few seconds that is all fine that is all good so do not hurry and do not be very fast you can allow time to think and then then answer whenever a candidate answers and is to the point or have given a very good answer always appreciate so that it will create more confidence in the candidate and it will take the interview in a right positive direction see when we are interviewing our focus should be to bring out the best in the candidate and not to just judge on uh, him on some particular things so let the candidate bring out the best in them and you should always appreciate good answers the next thing is uh, you can discuss on the experiences and projects worked on and if that is something very uh, very much required or maps directly with the uh, skills required in the job or the role which the candidate is being interviewed for you can uh go into a discussion you can ask for more experiences scenarios and this will all create a very positive impact then uh as i said or do all this appreciate good answers have a discussion uh discuss about the experience and try to bring out the best in the candidate then uh you should bring the discussion on track in case it goes out of track it can happen a lot a lot of times in the interview that uh you have asked some question and then the candidate starts answering and it can become long and can take the discussion to a different direction whenever this happens do not take it as a negative if it happens once or twice try to bring the discussion back on track 
and you can also inform the candidate for this. Uh, always look for the right attitude. Always look for a person who can learn and perform. And it happens a lot of times in interviews that a candidate who is very well, uh, who is very skilled and he knows all the things, all the technologies, he has all the skills as per the job requirement, but he does not present himself as per a person who can you know, learn and then perform. Sometimes it goes into negative. So always look for candidates who are eager to learn, who present themselves as a problem solver, who do not give up easily. If you can find such candidates, it should be a very good positive direction for the interview. Then uh, you can have practical question with hands-on. If you want, you can have uh, programming questions so that you can check how the candidate performs, what is his knowledge. Also, you can check if the candidate gives up easily or if he tries to find the solution, if he or she is a problem solver. And then you can also use whiteboards. And here, whenever required, you can use whiteboards or you can use pen and paper so that whenever you have questions on like explain some scenario, explain some structure or having some technical programming things, you can use whiteboards or pen and paper. It will help you to see how the candidate thinks, how the candidate is skilled, how he is trying to solve the questions. So it will be a very good impression and it will be a very good way to find the right candidates. Then also understand the candidate's expectations, what he or she is expecting out of this job. Uh, this will tell you whether he or she is going to be there for a long time, uh, what all is the culture he's coming from, what is the background, what is his or her experience. So try to find out the expectations and needs of the candidate. So then always ask if the candidate has any questions at the end of the interview. It will always tell you how the interview has gone, how, uh, how much interested the candidate is, and if there are any questions he wants to know, it should be a very good positive sign. So basically, uh, this is all what you should take care of during the interview. Now, one thing that I can tell you is that if you can keep a pen, on, a pen and paper with you, or even if you want to do it on slides, you can take a slide or pen and paper with you. And during the interview process, keep marking the candidates on the following areas, that is, knowledge, it can be technical and non-technical. So you can actually create columns for all these areas. And whenever the candidate uh, gives a good uh, answer on that particular area, you can give a tick mark. If you think it is not good, you can make a cross. And at the end, you can count the number of ticks and the number of cross for each area. So knowledge, analytical abilities, critical thinking, confidence, adaptability, teamwork, flexibility, problem solving, learning qualities, ethics, communication skills, and all the soft skills. So you create a column for all these. And as you are interviewing, as you are asking the questions, as you are listening to the answers, keep on uh, adding a tick or a cross for any of these, all of these, so that at the end of the interview, you will have a complete analysis. For example, let's say communication. You can see that in, in the field, in the section of communication, in the column of communication, you have 10 tick marks and let's say four cross marks. So you can rate the candidate out of 10 or five or whatever uh, ways you want to rate the candidate. You will know that on communication, the candidate is above average or good. Similarly for other areas, and it will help you a lot after the interview because it happens a lot of times that after the interview, we find it difficult to analyze. We, we, we have to remember what was the answer given to this particular question? What was the interview process like? What was all the experience like? So it will help you a lot. So always do this, keep a pen and paper, make sections for all these, and you can add to this or remove this as per your requirement or as per the requirement for the job or the role, and you can keep on marking. So all this will help you a lot. And uh, you can take a screenshot of the screen if you want to. So if you want, you can take a screenshot of this screen and keep it handy with you. It will help you a lot for taking interviews. And I hope this was very useful. If you have any question for me for the next episode of Ask Raghav, you can let me know in the comment section below and I will take up your question in the next episode. I hope all this was very useful. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.